So I've been following John for quite a while. I'm going to put up uh, his uh, thing here for him right now. So John, uh, if you're not familiar with John, he's been doing a lot of stuff uh, in terms of on social for a while, showing some fantastic finishes on cars and great uh, video work as well. I'm not that familiar with the company uh, other than uh, it's Norwegian, I just understood today. Just yes, sir. And so maybe John, you can tell me a little bit about the starting of the company um, and the why behind you and the company. Absolutely. Um, again, my, my name is John Til Tilbade. Um, it's great to meet everybody in the room here. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, um, I, I own a detail business uh, called Detail and Plasti. Um, I've been running this detail uh, business since uh, about 2013. Um, I've been, um, aside from the, the different types of uh, vehicles and customers that I've uh, worked on and met along the way, um, I've done a lot of work uh, along social media and um, while doing a lot of my stuff along uh, social media, I've, I've made a lot of friends along the way and one of them happened to be uh, one of our guests that are uh, with us right now, his uh, name is Ivor uh, Swardale. Uh, he is the uh, owner, uh, president of Arctic Coding in Norway. Uh, he, him and his team um, had had a look at uh, some of my posts and some of the uh, vehicles that I've been working on and the different types of finishes that uh, I was able to uh, attain from uh, vehicles that are in rough condition. And uh, one of the things that uh, they wanted to do was they realized that their winters are, are very harsh over there and we tend to have uh, pretty harsh winters ourselves in Canada. And they were in the midst of creating a uh, ceramic paint protection coating that uh, they wanted to uh, have me test out in Canada to see uh, how the, the, the product would um, fare in can the Canadian climate. And in, uh, to, in late 2014, early 2015, um, I became uh, an installer of the Arctic coating product uh, for my own personal clientele. Uh, it gave me a chance to get familiar with the product, gave me a chance to get familiar with the, the company as a whole. And um, the results were, were stunning in my opinion. Um, the, my, my, my customers would, would be speaking to other, their friends and families about uh, the product. And that's how I ended up starting to kind of generate my own um, customer base. And uh, it, it finally led to uh, 2016 where I received the uh, option to um, become a distributor in Canada uh, of Arctic Coding. And uh, that's what kind of changed uh, my trajectory uh, in a sense. So uh, at this point, what I actually do now is I uh, train uh, professional detailers uh, that uh, operate on their own, and I also train uh, professional detailers that are uh, within the de uh, dealership service department uh, to provide uh, Arctic coding services uh, through through the de for the dealership, and uh, I supply the the product and also any type of uh, um, troubleshooting, uh, any advice or any assistance that. Uh, anyone that supplies our coding needs is uh, provided by myself. So let me ask you a question, John. Uh, what's the benefit for dealerships to offer aftermarket products such as Arctic coding to their customers um, in service? Yes, I mean, um, I've, I've, been work, I've worked uh, in the dealership realm since about 2005. And uh, I actually left the dealership realm to start my detail of business uh, in around 2013 there. And um, I still uh, keep uh, in touch with a lot of my colleagues. Uh, and, and what I've kind of noticed over the years is that um, the ability to, to, to generate uh, revenue uh, in the service department is, is starting to decrease. Um, whether it be um, more electrical vehicles are coming out and, and the inability to do the routine type of things like oil changes, like you were mentioning before, the engine type of work, suspension work and what have you, um, is not so much there. Um, what I also have been understanding as well is that uh, when it comes down to warranty, 
um, company, I mean, uh, organizations have been uh, clamping down quite a bit as it pertains to that. And there's not much room for uh, dealerships to, to um, make, generate revenue in that area as well. So, I mean, um, adding an aftermarket uh, service and products uh, such as uh, Arctic Coating Coding uh, opens the door for dealerships to uh, generate revenue in an area where um, it's very popular. I mean, over the last couple of years, um, the whole um, over the last couple of years, the, the whole uh, climate of, of, of uh, ceramic coatings has um, boosted quite, quite significantly. Um, there's a lot of uh, customers are coming into dealerships and asking specifically for ceramic coatings. Um, so uh, having a dealership educated as to how to speak to their customers and having uh, detailers on hand to uh, provide the service is, is uh, a no-brainer. So generally uh products are, are considered the domain of the business office or the f i office why should the service department sell your products because uh, not all vehicles uh make it uh, through the the uh i office uh, some vehicles are are, are sold or, or purchased uh without any type of uh pain protection uh or any type of uh yeah, sorry, with any type of pay protection. So it gives the, the service department um, the ability to uh, take up uh, that opportunity with a customer that obviously has a relationship with the, with the dealership. Understood. So knowing that service advisors are under a great deal of pressure as per our show last week uh, from everybody, it sounds like, uh, and they have a short time, uh, how can they present aftermarket products for sale without harming their main focus, which is selling labor and parts for the dealership, in your opinion? I, I believe they're, they're, it, it should be considered quite one in the same. I mean, um, it's a product and it's, it's a service and it, it, it needs to be sold. So um, it just needs to be worked in. Okay. It needs to be considered just the same. So, you know, obviously it's a very unique product with, it looks like an international focus and I've seen lots of videos. Is it a product that has a higher take rate, say at a luxury dealership, like a Porsche dealership, or is it pretty much you feel that all dealers can benefit? Uh, in my opinion, I believe all dealerships can benefit. Uh, one dealership I can highlight in specific is, is like uh, one of our uh, dealers out in um, uh, Edmonton, uh, Lexus of Edmonton. Uh, they they have uh, approximately uh, a staff of about eight detailers, and uh, they uh, provide the uh, Arctic coating services in house. Okay. And uh, it's something that uh, sold through the business office and uh, completed through the uh, uh, service department's detailers. And at the same time, too, the 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 service department has um, the ability to sell uh, the, the service to their, their clientele when they, when they bring their vehicles in as well and have the detailers look after it. So we had a question from the audience. If the product is not sold in the business office, would the service department not be selling a product that will be in conflict with the business office product presently sold? Like is, obviously there's gotta be communication between those two departments, but do you feel that's in conflict if the business office is not doing the lead on that? Um, um, but the thing is, when a vehicle comes into the, the service department, it's already by bypassed the sale. So um, the sales has an opportunity to offer that uh, paint protection product, uh, like Arctic coating, um, at, at the business office. Now, um, after the vehicle uh, ends up on, on, on the road and ends up coming back to the dealership, um, it's at that point uh, at the service where they have the opportunity to, to sell that product there. Now, um, when it comes to um, aftermarket uh, paint protection products, um, it, there, there is a, a fine line there. And um, when it comes to um, the different products out there, we need to kind of, in my opinion, I, I like to uh, stick with one particular product so that it doesn't confuse the, the customers and themselves. Understood. So if the dealership selling multiple Pain protection products that may just want to choose one and make it simpler for the dealership staff. Absolutely. 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 What do you think the biggest hurdle in selling these products in service would be, in your opinion? 
Uh, I would I would believe um, it's it's education. Um, I, I feel, uh, and this is just me speaking here, but um, I feel that uh, a lot of a lot of dealerships tend to treat their deeds to the apartment as a expense, as opposed to a department that can actually be profitable for them. And um, there are a few dealerships where I've seen where they where they rent right, well, they essentially rent out their uh, um, detail detail uh, facility to an outside company to look uh, to look after uh, all the dealerships' needs, which allows that business to um, also look at outside retail work as well. So, I mean, um, it, it's really more more or less an, an educational thing, in my opinion. So if the, if the dealership has their own detail staff, how difficult is it for these uh, specialists to learn how to apply this coding? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, to be honest with you, it's, it's fairly easy. Um, there, there definitely is prep, prep, preparation involved. And um, through, through uh, my training, um, I, I, I get uh, people up to, up to spec to be able to offer the surface uh, the same way that I put it out there. And that's true across Canada and into the U.S. I'm assuming. Uh, we're just starting to be about breaking to the U.S. We have a few dealers out in uh, the U.S. that are, are currently using uh, our product. Okay. Um, we in in designing this product, um, we designed it especially for the dealership. Um, we were looking at different um, um, issues that uh, a dealership may run into by trying to offer ceramic coating. Whether it be, uh, the, the, you know, there are some ceramic coatings out there where they require a, a couple of days for the for the vehicle to be at the at the shop, or it requires a couple of hours or so for the product to be applied. So, um, you know, we uh, took that all into uh, consideration, and we had developed uh, a one-step um, paint protection product, a ceramic coating that uh, w works uh, exceedingly well for the dealership realm. And in terms of profit and retention, does this drive both for dealerships, I'm assuming? Uh, excuse me, sir? In terms of profit for the drive and retention of customers, does this drive both? Oh, I, I, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Because once you uh, have, have a vehicle that's been, um, you know, protected by Arctic coating, um, it, it's not just, it just doesn't end there. We, again, it's all part of the whole educational process because when when a vehicle is uh, protected with like a ceramic coating, the customer is educated on how to look after the the finish and 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 to be able to get the best out of it. And also the the uh, the uh, service advisor are also trained so that um, the customer is coming back every year for a maintenance check, which involves a, a wash and 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 to ensure that the the uh, uh, ceramic coating is performing the way that it should. And if and if not, then you know it, whatever issue is addressed at that point. Fantastic. Well, I'm sensitive to time, John. We got to move on. So go ahead, Mr. Depp. And just actually, just before uh, we move on to to Russ, I see him sitting there just chomping at the bit. Um, there is, was a question that we did miss from all the other ones. Uh, quickly, John, how do your products differ from others in the market that are like it? Um. <laughs> That's a, a, a bit of a loaded question because I mean, there's only two products that I, I've actually dealt with um, at all. But um, what I can say is that uh, we do have a product that I, I myself have thor thoroughly tested through uh, the Canadian climate and have uh, attained uh, incredible results. Um, we have um, dealers uh, out uh, around Canada that are currently uh, providing this uh, particular service to. Uh, their clientele, and um, you know, I've, I've heard nothing but uh, good good things. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, nice little comment there from Tiago. Good, good job. Your pictures on LinkedIn are awesome, so that's great. 